is what is the up issue money here and um, I want to talk to you about market cipher and this is an intro um, to several things about it uh, crypto face was bugging the shit out of me um, tell me you had this great indicator we've known each other from from previous things and um, love the guy he's full of energy and uh, he's a little too aggressive um, that for me just like in, in his stuff because he's, well, one, he's far more educated in the space. I had never used TradingView before Market Cipher and I never traded. Um, I had purchased um, and then I invested, but I have never traded. Um, and just, I, I just didn't have the stomach for it before and I had no confidence in what I was doing. So I got Market Cipher, fired it up, made like 6k on my first freaking trade and probably the worst thing that could have happened to me um because in the next probably about three weeks later um i took a 20k hit uh which at the time was about two bitcoin and it took that was gut-wrenching and then i was like okay it's it's time to really learn this and do it or it's just not for me and I don't get it. And I think a lot of people, when I see them in the, in the, I have gotten it and I've been consistently profitable for a while. And so I see a lot of the people asking the same questions who just got it because market cipher is an all encompassing tool and I have tried everything and even though I'm new to this I have been living it and I'm a person that's obsessive and relentless and who does not give up so um, like I said I thought for a bit maybe this just wasn't for me but I especially after I took that 20k in um, but I kept at it and I added a ton of other indicators. I was like, okay, let's do this MACD thing. Let's do this RSI thing. Let's do this um, Watatar explosion thing. Let's do this, this. I signed up for some other stuff, um, which gave me custom indicators, all this stuff. But the thing is, is that while I had like nine indicators, Market Cipher was all I needed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the very, very, very basics. Okay, and then we're going to add on to that. All right, so let's go ahead and go to our indicators. And I'm going to apply Market Cipher. And there's a ton of shit here. I mean, look at all this. We've got, I mean, just fucking tons of shit. We've got X's, we've got yellow dots, we've got triangles, we've got all, all this shit, green, blue, yellow, all this stuff. And when you watch CryptoFace on, on the live stream, I, I, I love him to death. Um, but he, he kind of just emphasizes like the blue waves, right? It's like blue wave, blue wave, bam, money, blue wave, blue wave, bam, money, trigger wave, this wave, this wave, blah, blah, blah. And, um, it, a lot of people get stuck on that kind of stuff between the green dots and the other stuff and and the rest of it and um crypto face is aggressive but he's he came up with this and he's very experienced with it okay so i feel like i'm coming at it from a phase of a lot of new people and i wish i would have known some of these things when i first started and i know they have tutorial videos and stuff like that but even with all that said okay I'm going to, I'm going to go right here and adjust shit. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to try not to, I tend to digress in video. So I'm going to try not to do that. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take off market cipher SR. Okay. That eliminates a lot of shit. Then we're going to take off market cipher A. Okay. Now that leaves us with, with just market cipher B. Okay. Which I'm going to kind of make a little bit bigger. Okay. Now here, this is, this is still a little too complicated for me. This is just a bunch of shit. Okay, so let's start basics. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to eliminate RSI, stochastic RSI, the plot stuff, the backgrounds, um, the 
I think this is the money flow. Um, no, this is the money flow. I'm going to take that off. Um, and fuck it. I'm just going to even remove the blue waves. Okay. And this trend three is actually VWAP. Okay. Now VWAP, you can go and Google it and stuff like that. To me, this is the strongest indicator to enter and exit by far. Okay. It, it, that's it. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's, it's waves here. I don't, I don't like that. Okay. Um, so what I do is I change this to a line. I make it, um, thick and I boom, I make, I want it fucking bright. Okay. So let's start there. Now, now just, just look at this. Okay. This is a one minute chart and I'm going to use a one minute chart for demonstration purposes. Um, one minute chart, you, a lot of people say you shouldn't trade off of, right? Because it's, it's, um, you've got to sit here all day and do all this stuff, but this applies to every, if you go through all of them, you'll see here. Now, the reason I like the one minute personally is because, um, to do this strategy one in five minute and sometimes 15, but if, if you go to the higher, you have all these giant wicks. And a lot of times if it's, it's just, it's, it still works. It still works, but it's a different mentality and strategy. Um, a bit, a bit, it still applies. Okay. With, with this particular thing. Okay, so look, let's look at something very, very, very simple, okay? So you've got right here, you've got your zero line, okay? Now, they call this trend three. Now, I'm petitioning them to call this the goddamn VWAP, because that's what it is, okay? Um, so, uh, basically, just, just look at this. This is very, very simple, okay? when it crosses the zero line, when the money flow crosses the zero line, that's my exit and enter. Okay, that's my indicator to go, okay? Now we're gonna apply more of Market Cypher to this as of what I should expect and my other stuff because I get to ask that all the fucking time too. Okay, so just bear with me, start easy, okay? So just, just look at the price action up here, okay? So look, cross right here, price goes up, okay? Cross right here, price goes down, okay? Just, I mean, you, you can do this for yourself, right? So, I mean, just, just look, cross, and you can even set it for a candle later, right? So if you, you know, if um, you can wait for a confirmation um, right here, you would have, I mean, you still would have gone down here and then you could have sold up here. It depends. Um, I like to take, I like to take profit at a certain percentage. I, I'm, I'm happy with making 500 to 1500 a day. Okay. So it just depends. And I've learned to establish rules, okay? There's rules to this game. And for me, my rule is I will not enter a trade unless it crosses, unless it crosses this line and I have a, conf a confirmation of it crossing this line. So the next candle after it crosses above or enter, I will short or long depending on it, okay? And um, th so that's basically VWAP. And if you just go through, you'll see, okay, you're going to, you're going to see all this other stuff. Now let's apply the blue waves. Okay. So here's market cipher B and we're going to apply the blue waves. Okay. And then, um, we're going to want to put on Oh, the dots are already there for us. Okay. So let me like, I'm not sure the best way to do this. Okay. So 
Now let's look at how much emphasis we should put on those entries in the VWAP crossings, okay? And this is the beautiful thing about Market Cipher because it, it is such an all-encompassing indicator, all-encompassing. Like I said, I, I added so many indicators after I lost that much money and I was determined to figure this out. I'm relentless, I do not fucking give up and I will sit and do this fucking 24 seven until I figure it out. I've lived this shit, okay? And I will continue to share, okay, I'm digressing. Okay, let's get into the blue waves. So if you notice here, okay, so a lot of times crypto face will just point to um, a big wave, trigger wave, a green dot, you know, other things like that, right? So let's look at this. So when you get a green dot and it crosses, it's fucking awesome. Okay, you're going to get a lot more juice out of it. Um, the opposite is true for shorting. Okay, so like this giant wave right here. Okay, look, look at this giant wave right here. So here's the price here, right? If we see it, it crossed right here and we waited till the next candle. And then we, now, basically when it's above, when the VWAP is above, it's bullish. When it's below, it's bearish. Okay, now don't put emphasis on how far down or how far up because I, as you will see, like just, just crosses. Okay, just bear with me crosses. Um, okay, so like you see this giant mountain here. Okay, when it crosses, we even wait, we even wait for it to confirm right because it's not it's not going anywhere fast right and then it goes down and and as i said you don't have to put too much emphasis on this just as long as it's below right and then it comes up and and we can exit our short right when it closes and enter a long now this is this is significant okay so we could enter along here and then we would close the long here. Now we didn't make, we haven't made much right here, but we haven't lost. I, I don't, I don't think, I think we lost, you know, some money, but here's what I want you to pay attention to. This is what CryptoFace talks about that. Okay. So when he talks about the big wave and the trigger wave, look at the difference when this crossed here after this huge, see ya short. Beautiful. Okay. So again, and then, and then, so this short, and then it crosses back up right here, right? Exit. Perfect. This is on a one minute. Okay. You would have made a shitload right there. Okay. Let's continue. Cause I want to show you ones because this has kept me out of trades big time. Okay. So because it's, there's dots and we're going to get into more stuff. I want to get into more stuff later about other things to keep an eye out because I have rules. Um, I've gone over the VWAP and the rules for that is that I will not enter a long unless I have confirmation that VWAP is over the zero line. Okay. So more examples. So like on a green dot, Right here, like, like you, you could, like I say, you, you could like this, this could be a trigger wave right here. Right. So it crosses right here. I mean, you could have, you could have shorted here, right? This is a matter of, I mean, it depends on how much you want to leverage and, and other stuff. When you're playing off a of woman, you shouldn't expect that much. Right. But as you notice, like I said, like this dips down pretty hard here but the price really doesn't move that much, right? And then you can you can re-enter. Now this is a this is a um, like a what he would call a semi trigger wave, right? So you could wait until it crosses right here, okay? And then you could go long. And even if you went long right here, remember that when you go on Haikanishi candles, it only jumps up half. So you would have caught the beginning of this candle, right? And then you would erode that thing until, you know, it crossed here. So you, you would have made money here, 
Okay, now I go high dollar amount, and I'm not saying I would have gone here. Um, it, it, I like I'd like to see a smaller a smaller wave, but there's other things that will play into this. I'm I'm just trying to get the point across of like when you see and and if you notice, we haven't we haven't taken significant losses at all. Even if I, mean, I think we're ahead on just the little ones, but if you look at the big ones versus the little ones, it's not about how much you. So. I, I will, that's why I exit and stuff like that. I don't hold on, okay? And this is this is a good one here, okay? So you know, you've got your little wave divergence, trigger wave, whatever, right? So you go right here. And, and then, you know, you come down. Now you do not front run VWAP. So just because it's arcing up, don't think that it's going to. You wait until you get a confirmation of the cross, okay? Because this came back down, right? And then it goes back up. And some people would be like, oh, it's crossing. Nope, not yet, right? Now, right here, it crossed, okay? Right here, it crossed, so you could exit. So you would have made from there down to there, okay? So from here down to, and I should probably use the measure tool. I'm telling you, I am such a noob at this shit, um, but I'm telling you what works uh, for me. I, I barely know how to use this shit. Res okay, here's my, here's my tool. Okay, so I'm gonna measure from when it crossed, I'm supposed to go this way. I'm going from when it crossed there to when it came back up, right? Okay, so that is 0.23%. Now, it depends on how much money you have, but that's, I mean, like, if I put, you know, if I'm not using leverage, which I, I'll i use, like, 3x leverage on something like this, but I'll use a high dollar amount. So, like, maybe, like, 50,000 contracts. Um, okay, okay. And then, okay, so you exit that, and then you could, and then you would re-enter right here on the cross, and then, you know, the take profit, again, like, I don't look to take a lot of profit. A very small amount can be like 50, 100 bucks, you know, 150 bucks, and I'm okay with that, um, and that's why, like, that's it's just fine right so then this one crosses back up this would have been a very small one to take um but again you're not going to lose like if you go here and you exit here you're not out you know hardly anything very 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 small compared to the bigger picture so if you re-entered right here because look at this trigger wave right so when he talks about trigger wave again you can put bigger emphasis on it what i'm trying to show you is that using vwap as an initiator is a very small is very is great very small again very small losses as we've seen but using the blue waves you can have very big gains like right here's perfect green dot trigger wave crosses and boom right there again um you know you can you can do it the, the exact same way here, okay? Now, as you can see, now we went from VWAP, which showed us we can make money when it crosses, or at least we know that, you know, it's going to do, you know, <laughs> up or under, and we're not gonna lose that much. Or now we've added the blue waves to it. And the blue waves give us a better judgment of, if we should enter, um, or, or maybe a better judgment of which ones we should enter, like on this uh, trigger, on this trigger wave, um, you know, the, on this trigger wave, you know, it, it didn't go up a ton, but it went enough to where you could have made, you know, it just depends. You would have made money on low leverage, on high leverage, um, you know, you, between the funding fees and all that shit, um, maybe not have done so well. Okay, so again, trigger wave, 
this as soon as this crosses right there boom okay and then again exit on when it goes up okay um you know right here we've got trigger wave cross it goes up exit when it comes down not a huge one okay but we didn't lose that much and the thing i've come to learn is it's not about how much you make it's about how much you lose okay so with this strategy it's lose small win small win big okay and that's and and using this strategy i'm doing pretty well i'm doing i'm consistently profitable um again i'm going to add another component to that so let me if i haven't been clear enough right so here here shorter so bigger wave shorter wave and then enter right and then look at look at the price action right and it comes back up to there and we did fantastic and all we did was we look at uh, i mean if you want to call this divergence i mean some people are like no the price has to do whatever now that is important because the price if it is higher then you have you know the the bullish or the bearish diversion um that's even going to be more so the third layer onto this of whether or not it's even bigger is on a trigger wave and that's when uh let's see do we have any examples of that i know we do on some other stuff um Dun, 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 dun. I mean, th this is just beautiful. I mean, like you, you go here, so you see like win big, or I'm sorry, win big, win small, lose small, right? So like this one right here, you short when it crosses, you wait for confirmation. Don't do it like, and you do not want to front run the WAP, okay? It is going to repaint on its own. Wait till you have confirmation. Okay, so one candle later. Um, so like right here, do, 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 right? Boom. And and we would have exited on, actually, we might not have exited this. Okay, so look, so like, it because it didn't really cross. So we might not have got a signal there. And then we would have got a signal there. So same, same, I guess. Um, but again, you could have, you could have, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could have went long there and made this little scalp and then you could have went, you could have gone short here, made this little scalp. You could have went long here. Now this is for someone really aggressive, but I mean, there's a good percentage there, right? Um, you could have went short here, right? This was, this is a really good one. Okay, now again, this was kind this was a trigger wave right here, a big one. So, you know, right there. And it's it's really I'm giving you the basics. I'm starting small and we're going to incorporate more into this. Okay. So, we've gone over the VWAP, we've gone over the blue wave strategy, and now we're going to add a third component. So, my rules so far. Do not enter a trade um unless the, the VWAP is on my side, okay? Ex exit, do not, you know, short or long, okay? And some of this I'm repeating myself, but I just wanna be clear. Um, okay, and and then the, the blue waves trigger are gonna give you a better. So maybe you don't bet as much on the ones that aren't trigger waves. I always do the same amount. Um, and, but I'll also, I'll also DCA, um, if I need to, normally I don't hardly ever, well, that's a totally different strategy. This is just straight up. Let me, don't forget I said the word DCA because I have a built a complete system around DCA and channels that it's, it's for a different kind of environment. This is just straight up market cipher 101. Now this is also, I want to be clear, this is the way I interpret market cipher. You need to, to look at this and see how you interpret it. But I get a lot of questions about my strategy and my stuff. So here we go. Now, let's add the next indicator that I use, which is um, I use RSI. I do not use stochastic RSI. And what I do is I make this red, 
and I make it a big, fat, thick line with 100% transparency, okay? So now, this is even a bigger indicator because now we can also look when RSI, when RSI is higher, okay? Remember, cross, right? It goes right here, RSI is you know, really high here. This is where people sell off, okay? And this is just layering on tools, okay? To, to kind of give you some sort of what you think could happen, okay? So these are the, these are the things that I use. Um, so RSI, super high here, right? And we cross over right here, right? And then we go right here. And then we we exit up here. Great, great thing I care. Let's go with the with another high um, RSI, right? So right here, right, and then and then we can exit right here, right. So that's another that's another good scalp, right? Um, same thing here, really. I mean, this is one of those up and down, up and down. But you know, if you go here now, this is this is on a one minute, so you're gonna have to be fucking fast. Um, and, and I'm going to go into more advanced stuff. I'm just going over the very, 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 very basics of the indicators. And I'm going to be dead honest. This is what I use for 90% of the other stuff. Just is fucking confusing. Doesn't fucking matter. There are some things that matter and I built tools through the API. I built other stuff, um, that I'll get into more advanced, but if you only use this, only use this. Establish rules for yourself. Um, let's go on a higher time frame. I'm actually going to take a quick break. And break-time. I'm back. Okay. Um, one other thing I want to talk about is divergences with the RSI. Um, because those can also be an indication or another indicator of how big or how much you can make. And you can base your, you know, leverage based on that. You can do whatever you feel comfortable with. I, I recommend just if test this on testnet, whatever, become familiar with it. Um, establish your rules. Um, some people will not enter unless the RSI is so high. And that's okay too, because as you can see, when the RSI is high, like right here, and you if you follow this simple rule right here, RSI high, wave crash, and this cross is right here, and you would have exited right here. Monster, monster. Again, small losses, small gains, big gains. And using this strategy, that's exactly what I have gotten. Um, okay, so this is on a five minute. This is on a five minute, okay? So you can see exactly um, it applies. Now the wicks are gonna be all over the place. So your take profit is, I mean, it's, it's up to you because sometimes you'll have a, a wick, whatever, and whatever, whatever. Take profits up to you. Um, but again, like if you just if you just look at this, um, the end result is that you're in profit. <laughs> okay. So in a five minute, it's I used the one minute because there was tons of examples, right? But let's look at the five minute. Okay, the five minute right here because now you're going to start to see more divergences with with other things like with with RSI, right? So if you if you entered this one right here, well let's let's look at the trigger waves, right? So and and mostly I'll be honest, like mostly I trade off of the five minute. I have made most of my money um, recently shorting the five minute, but um, like right here is a beautiful beautiful setup. Low RSI. We got a green dot right here. Don't have to have a green dot, right? But um, beautiful right here. We entered, you know, right here. Okay. It didn't come back down. So we're okay. We're okay. And then it goes right through it. Okay. And we made some, we made some money there. It wasn't a ton. Right. But we went from here to here. Okay. So we made, I mean, that's that. It adds up, man. It adds up. But now we've got a trigger wave. Okay, so now maybe you go higher leverage, right? 
we still have low RSI. And again, there's this isn't a divergence in RSI, but it's back where we were. And so now, boom, boom, we cross. And then look at this. Now, look, do we ever cross right here? No, we do not cross down, okay? So we, we just keep on going, right? Until right here. And would you look like on, once it actually it would confirm here. And if you, if you look up here, that is the top, okay? Giant gain right here, freaking giant gain. Um, gain. Let's just let's just look let's look at right now. So right now, actually, if if you would have this is another great example, right? So right here, you could have entered right here, right? And then you would have exited right here. This is an example of not doing this is this is a rare example. So we would have went right here, okay, at this price. Now, again, you could have taken profit here. It depends on what your profit, I mean, it's, it depends on what your margins are and how much you want to make. Um, the exiting is always up to you. I use the crossings as entry exit. I always use them as entry. I don't always use them. Uh, I just am going to contradict myself. Um, but um, one, one thing right here um, is kind of, the RSI is, is a little low, but it's not, it's not, it's not that bad, right? So like, like right here though, you can see, okay, we're going down, right? Like this trigger wave, technically this could be a trigger wave because it, it, it never went up above the zero line. Um, I mean, this was obviously a trigger wave. You went here, right? And then you exited here and shorted and monster, Right now, let's talk about let's look at a loss. Right, so if we would have if we would have longed right here on confirmation, right, so we would have went, you know, I guess it'd be well it'd be half the candle, so it'd be at the bottom, eighteen one one eight two six, um, and then we go over to where it crosses, and it would have been half the candle, so it would have been here, um, one one eight three one. So we still would have been in profit, right? Yeah. We still would have been in profit, maybe broke even. Small loss, small loss. This is worst case, right? Um, so then, and maybe maybe I'm off because you would have waited till one candle, so right here. So still 1829, okay, After if you waited for it to confirm. Um, okay, so then if you wanted to, this is some cowboy shit, it could have gone long um, right here at this confirmation and it would have confirmed um, half the candle because the Akinishi works. So it would have confirmed here. Um, and then you would have, you would not have exited because it did not cross, right? And then um, you would have gone short right here. Now, did you make a lot right here? No, small loss though. Small, 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 small loss. Maybe you would have actually made money, but you don't go high leverage there, right? Um, and most of the times I do not go high leverage. I go 3x and I go more, put more of my um, money at risk. Okay, so, but now, okay, we if we go here and we cross down, okay, look, choo, 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 choo. Now again, it's your, right here was your, your signal to exit, okay? So, I mean, you can, it's, it's, again, it's up to you to exit, but, but you, I always, always exit in profit. And honestly, okay, so this is a tip, um, is to set, continue to set limits on your stop, right? So if you are, you can, you can continue to follow it down. And maybe this, maybe this honestly was just a super quick up and down, right? Maybe. But um, this is also where scripts come in because you, it's very hard to do this manually on a, on a quick moving wick. Unless you're just, if you're just sitting on the exchange and see it go down, you know, then you can just mark it close, right? So again, it just depends on, on that, especially, yeah. So um, again, this is gonna take you applying this strategy and 
just over time, like I said, I fucking have living this shit. Okay, so, and I've been consistently profitable. Not on every trade, not on every trade. Um, I break even close to it or will lose, you know, a very small, very, 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 very small amount. But the big ones, I mean, it just, it makes up so much. It's crazy um, how well this works uh, with Market Cipher. So RSI, RSI again, like RSI high um, is going to have a bigger impact um, in, in, from what I've found. And then like, if you look, if you look right here, you know, towards, towards this one, you can do this again. So you would have gotten this. And then if you would have gone short here, even if you would have waited for it to confirm right here, right? So it would have been half the candle. You would have started right there. And then again, it's up to you when you want to take profit. Um, and then if we go over here, now let's go to, okay, so we're looking at like right now, right? So um, some people would enter like trying to front run this mistake, mistake. This is how I lost money. Okay, uh, trying to front run and guessing the bottom here because it's going to curl around, right? Okay, that's where I've made mistakes. And again, this is my strategy, okay? Because this is going to repaint um, and it's going to change. So while this is pointed up now, this could very quickly point back down, okay? So, or this could actually change, I, I believe. So, um, so this one right here, we're going to wait for this. This is a pretty good setup. RSI is, it's, it's not perfect, but it's, it's there. Um, and again, RSI, usually people use, um, I think it's 80 and 20. Or I don't know, to be honest, but some people have rules and you can establish rules like that. And as you've seen, we've seen bigger gains with RSI. You, and so I'm just looking at this right now. Um, but go back and look through all time frames. All time frames, all time frames. Um, I'm building out um, scripts that is going to automatically do this for me, um, and uh, we'll we'll see where that goes. We'll see where that goes. Uh, I, I have to figure out legalities of actually sharing those with others and stuff. And I might I, I don't I don't know I don't know. Um, I'm digressing. Back to back to it. Okay, let's go to higher time frames and look at this. Um, let's go to a one hour. Okay, so uh, I mean, th this is amazing, right? So let's look at, okay, so let's look at, let's look at big wave, trigger wave, okay? It crosses right here, right? You have until here to get in because it confirms. Whoop. Huge, huge, okay? If you had exited right here, right? Like right when it confirmed right here, you would have gone half candle. Right, so you would have started right there, and you would have exited monster amount. Okay, so again, I started on the one minute to show you like if you want to be a cowboy, <laughs> but now we're going to the hour. Okay, um, and then look again, it fucking crosses right here, right, and look what happens on confirmation on a confirmation of the cross that happens. Right there. And this is going on right fucking now. Okay, let's go, let's just, let's just look around here. Let's look around here. Okay, so so the VWAP crosses right here, right? We have the bigger wave, trigger wave. Boom. Okay, we would not have exited until right here. Way the fuck up here. Giant gains. Okay, again, right here. Boom. We cross up right? Huge. Now, if you want to call this an anchor wave, whatever. Okay, now on the reverse, right here, anchor wave, high RSI, right? Um, if we go, if we go to this, to this anchor wave, and then trigger wave, right here, poo, huge, and then exited here, right? Did we exit at the bottom? If you only use this, no. If you're using your own targets to exit, or you just follow this. Follow it by like $15 with a stop loss. Just follow it down. If you're sitting here, if you're not, and you're just waiting for it to cross back up, cool. Just be like, all right, I'll be back in an hour. I'll be back in an hour. And just, and just wait for it to confirm. 
Um, I'm going to go into how to uh, set alerts and and I'm I'm going to go into actually how to automate this so it will do it for you. Um, it's it's a process I'm going through. Um, I've got it working, um, but I've got many different. I'm having so much fun with this. Um, but I mean, honestly, these this like Market Cipher has so much shit, and it's amazing. And those guys have put a lot of time into it, and it's beautiful. But just I mean, this basic thing right here. Just I I mean, go through the test of time, right? We cross right here, right? Boom. We exit right here, up here. We did good, right? We 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 enter right here, okay? We exit right here. Did we lose much? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, we enter right here. We exit right here. Did we lose much? Mm -mm. Small losses, small gains, or big gains, okay? So, and and I'm having, I, I, I'm doing very well with it, and I'm tuning it. I'm tuning it all the time, all the time. So, this is my three strategies. A lot of people ask me. I mean, if you go through time frames, you know, a, a lot of different time frames, you're going to see it. Um, you know, right now we're on a 12 hour. Okay, so. Um, you know, a 12 hour right here, right? So like enter here, exit here, right? So we would exit it up here. Well, actually on confirmation. So we would have exited, I, I think half candle. So we would have exited right here. We would have entered right here. So I mean, just it's right here. And this isn't even a trigger wave, okay? But look at this one, right? This mountain right here. We would have exited, I mean, like you could, you could enter and exit, like if you would have entered this right here, right, on confirmation. This would have been half the candle, right, so I think it would have been right here. If you would have entered and then exited, would have been half the candle right here. Okay, a solid long, right, a solid long. As soon as you got, actually, you would have got the, yeah, you would have got the confirmation, like half candle, right, on Haikinishi. So, I mean, this isn't even anything special, trigger wave, whatever. The higher time frames, the less that shit, I mean, it does matter, but, you know, for the most part, I mean, like, just, you know, again, right here, confirmation. Did we dip down? No, we did not cross it. And it continues up, right? And then we, and then we would exit right here. Boom, made a bunch of money. Right, and this was this was you know a bigger wave, smaller wave, right? Boom. Okay. When you take profit is up to you. My my absolute take profit is when it crosses the line. Right? I can always get back in when it crosses back up, which right here, I probably could have missed out on this right here. That's okay. Small wins, small losses, big wins. Okay. So this is it guys. A lot of people ask me the way I do it. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm new to this shit. I don't even know what the fuck goes into VWAP or RSI. I, I honestly don't. I'm just being straight up honest. I use Market Cipher. This right here, I, like I said, I have been living it. I've gone through all of the popular indicators, all the other ones. I've, I've bought um, two different indicators which were not cheap and put them all together and it's just a fucking mess set up all these alerts this right here is it this is it this is it okay go through go back through time tell me i'm wrong okay now your decision to short or whatever um is more of a strategy like if if it's if the overall time ahead is in a downtrend then maybe you want to put more money on shorting than longing. I, I don't, I mean, sometimes I, I'm kind of learning that now. The one thing I know, and, and I think like it's important for you to master something and then take the next step and see how it factors in. And like um, there's other indicators that I'm playing with now, playing a role in of, you know, like the, like I, again, this is just market cipher B. Okay, 
we're going to look at in the future as I feel, I don't feel comfortable enough right now giving you any sort of advice on the SR or Mark Cypher A. Um, I do think that will be in the next one, which is a little bit more advanced. This is super basic. I've showed you how to do the settings. I'm going to shut up now. And I hope this was helpful. All right, later.